Hey my friends, I'm on a video marathon this morning. I'm sitting here walking the beach again as usual and I'm feeling really inspired. You guys have asked me some great questions so thank you so much for all of your questions and for your, your positive feedback. I really appreciate it and I love showing up here for you every day to drop some information with you. So the uh, something that I've been asked about a lot is why I don't take protein powders and supplements. And the thing is, I used to use pretty much everything under the sun. I used protein, every single protein powder you can imagine. I used to use um, vitamins, minerals, and all kinds of stuff. And I can tell you that there was something that at some point, I think it was right around like 28, 29 years old that I started having some real serious health challenges. And I've shared this on, on a video. If you want to see the health transformation story, you could just find that in the video queue. Um, and you'll, you'll hear a little bit more about that. But I was, at one point, I, I was really determined to be a, become a professional bodybuilder. And I was really committed to it. I saw a nutritionalist. Uh, she told me that I needed to eat more calories. She gave me some instructions on what to eat and consume. Well, with that information, I started eating 35 to 4,300 calories a day. I also started taking growth hormone and steroids, and I quickly ballooned up to 200 and almost 50 pounds. Thing is, I was eating six to seven meals a day every two hours, and I was uh, starting to, at the age of about 29, 30 years old, I started to develop heart disease, high blood pressure, borderline diabetic, had acid reflux, had all kinds of stuff happening. And it was primarily due to a lot of the things that I was consuming and taking. So, you know, steroids and drugs and things don't help the the body at all. In fact, it creates a more acidic environment and slowly over time, I don't know anybody who has, who has used that successfully and been able to have an amazing story at the end, uh, like 20, 30 years later. Most people who have ever tried that and used it, they are not doing well. They have kidney issues, liver issues, uh, triglyceride, cholesterol issues. So the main reason why I don't use supplements anymore one really important thing is they're not regulated. So the FDA doesn't regulate the supplements, which means that you don't know what the hell's in there. They could put anything under the sun in there and they can call it this or market it as that. And then you as the consumer go out and pay your hard and hard earned money on it. And you end up spending, I was spending two, three, four hundred dollars a month on nutritional supplements. It's supposed to be nutritional, right? Wrong. Not all of them are. In fact, I would, I would, I would uh, argue that probably 90% or more of what's out there is uh, garbage. So I chose to discontinue the investing my money and time in that, into those. And, w and I, what I started doing is I started learning more about botanical herbs. And that was where things started to really shift and change because think about it like this anything that grows up from the ground and that grows down into the ground so the difference with a botanical herb and something like a, a vegetable is that the the vegetables actually just grow right underneath the earth's surface so they only pull up a, a little bit of nutrition when you go into the botanical herb world things like dandelion roots they can go down 50 60, 70 feet, you get that? 50, 60, 70 feet below the earth's surface and they pull up nutrition, vital nutrition, valuable nutrition for your body that you don't get from any other plants. And what's really fascinating about the wild plants and the herbs is that they don't die, that you can't kill a dandelion green. You can spray it, you can pull them. They grow in cities through the cracks. They, they grow all over the place. And you can forge these most likely right in your backyard or at a local park as long as it's not like a place that's polluted. And 
what's great about this is that they're full of all of the spectrum of, of vitamins, minerals, enzymes, amino acids, alkalinity, things like that that will help your body. Things like dandelion greens are incredible, incredibly healing for your uh, liver, kidneys, and they're just a really good source of food to be putting in your living organism, your vehicle. So I stopped using the supplements and started getting on to more wild plants, botanical herbs, you know, things like that. And I started noticing that I was having some really incredible benefits, healing benefits from consuming more of these herbs. So when you're out looking for something, some sort of supplementation, say you're an athlete and you want to find, you're an endurance athlete, or you just want to access the best of your ability, um, you want to be able to run fast, you want to be able to do things like that, look into things like, like beet juice powder, look into things like the ginseng family, look into things that help to move and circulate blood through your body. See, that's what I think when I'm creating my formulas and when I'm creating the botanical herbs that I actually take, because I do make capsules and I do make my own uh, formulas, and hopefully one day I'll be able to bring those formulas to you guys and actually share this with you. But for now, I'm just creating it, making it for myself. So when I make these formulas, I'm looking at the what these actual plants are doing. What are their medicinal benefits and properties? Some are great builders, some are tonifiers, some are strengtheners, uh, some have astringent properties, some are blood movers and circulators. There's so many different amazing herbs out there that are available that you can consume very, very easily. So keep that in mind when you are, before you go out and spend your hard earned money on high price supplements that you just don't know what's in there, that have a ton of ingredients. Unless you know the source and that's a trusted source, I wouldn't recommend spending any money on stuff like that. In fact, you could just go and make yourself a green juice Add in extra dandelion greens and kale, a couple of apples, and you got yourself an amazing elixir tonic that'll give you all of the stuff that you that you're you're looking for. And so, I am going to jump off of here because I'm noticing that my phone is flashing at me and it's about to die. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I sure have enjoyed connecting with you as always. Thank you so much for all your support, your comments, your feedback and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I'm gonna say goodbye for now. Have an amazing day out there.